New Year's Day, a true book by Dana Meachin Rao. New Year's Day, a mask worn for Chinese New Year. And notice that the summary says that this book discusses the history, customs, and celebrations of New Year's Day. And our contents are staying up late, a long history, good and bad luck, New Year's traditions, all around the world, welcoming a new year, to find out more, important words, index, meet the author. Staying up late, it's almost midnight. You may be up past your usual bedtime. The countdown begins. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Everyone cheers. You toss streamers or throw confetti. A new year has begun. Making noise is part of New Year's Eve fun. Some families play board games while waiting for midnight. New Year's is the oldest holiday and the only one celebrated by people all over the world. On New Year's Eve, many people stay up until midnight. On New Year's Day, families gather together and think about the year to come. It is a time to ring out the old year and bring in the new. A long history. The history of the holiday starts thousands of years ago. January 1 hasn't always been New Year's Day. Different cultures started their years on different days. The Egyptians started their year when the Nile River flooded. Other cultures started their year in spring when plants started growing or in autumn when plants were harvested. Some cultures based the start of their year on a certain phase of the moon. When the Nile River flooded, it brought a new year of life to its shores. A celebration in the ancient city of Rome. More than 4,000 years ago, the Babylonians celebrated New Year's Day in March. Their parties lasted 11 days. Ancient Romans also celebrated in March with grand parades and huge feasts. But in Rome, emperors often changed the calendar until it no longer was in line with the sun and the seasons. In 45 BC, Julius Caesar straightened things out. He declared January 1 the beginning of the new year. January was named after Janus, a god of two faces. One face looked backward to the old year. The other face looked forward to the new one. Caesar's calendar is known as the Julian calendar. And there's Julius Caesar, who lived from 100 to 44 BC. And we also see a portrait of the two-faced god Janus, painted in the 1300s. During the Middle Ages, different countries called different days the beginning of the year. Italy and France started the year in March. Spain and Germany started on Christmas Day. Belgium and Holland started on Easter. Other countries started in autumn. It was often confusing for these countries to work together. In 1582, Pope Gregory XIII fixed the calendar. He shortened the year by 10 days and again declared that January 1 was New Year's Day. Not everyone accepted the new calendar, however. England and its colonies still used March 25 as the beginning of the new year until 1752. Peasants in Belgium, in a Belgian village that is, enjoy a spring New Year celebration. Pope Gregory the Thirteenth who lived from 1502 to 1585. Good and bad luck. 
children in Shanghai add sparklers to the noisy New Year street celebrations. Ancient people believed that the old year had to be driven out with a lot of noise before the new year could arrive. The noise was meant to frighten away evil spirits who tried to bring bad luck into the new year. People in China used bells, whistles, firecrackers, gongs, and guns. People today even honk their car horns when the new year arrives. In Denmark, it is a tradition to smash pottery against outside doors. The noise keeps evil spirits from crossing into the house. Besides making noise, people used other ways to get rid of bad luck. In England, it was a tradition to leave all the doors open in a house so that the spirit of the old year could leave and the new one could enter. In China, wearing masks on New Year's Eve to hide smiling faces began as a way to confuse evil spirits. Oh, and we see the caption in the photograph, Take your pick! Chinese masks hang on display. In Japan, many people laugh to bring them good luck when the New Year comes. Some people won't hang their calendars before New Year's Day, so they won't bring last year's bad luck into the New Year. Laughing to welcome the New Year is a tradition in Japan. The New Year's Baby A baby is a common symbol of the New Year. Some people say this idea began in Greece around 600 BC. The Greeks placed a baby in a basket and paraded around the city. Other people say the tradition began in Germany in the 1300s. Wherever the tradition started, Baby New Year is a common New Year's character. As the old year ends, Father Time is ready for some help from Baby New Year. New Year's Traditions Many traditions all over the world are an important part of New Year's celebrations. For some people, New Year's Day is a time to visit friends. In the 1800s, men called on women all day long. They would try to visit as many women as they could in one day. The women welcomed their visitors with delicious snacks. President George Washington and his wife Martha started the tradition of opening their house to anyone who wanted to visit. White House guests bow in greeting to George and Martha Washington. American presidents continued having open houses on New Year's Day for many years. Gift giving is also a New Year's tradition Romans sent good luck tokens to their friends. Egyptians gave flasks that symbolized good fortune. The British sent expensive gifts to their kings and queens. The Chinese have sent cards for more than 1,000 years. Today, in Greece, children often go from door to door singing songs of good wishes for the year. In Spain, people try to eat 12 grapes before the first and last toll of the bell at midnight. Greek-American children dance at a festival. All around the world. Not everyone around the world celebrates New Year's Day on the same day. Some cultures still use their traditional calendars. The Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, falls between September 6 and October 5. Muslims celebrate the new year on, oh, we'll find out about that after I read that uh, caption for the picture. At Rosh Hashanah, the shofar is blown. Meanwhile, Muslims celebrate the new year on March 21. In parts of India, people celebrate Diwali, the festival of lights. Small lights called shirogs are placed all over the houses and streets. Hundreds of oil lamps are lit for the Diwali festival. Chinese New Year takes place between January 21 and February 19 and lasts 14 days. A dragon joins this year's, excuse me, a dragon joins this 
Chinese New Year Parade. Dragons are a symbol of good luck. So huge dragon puppets wind their way through the streets in large parades. In their homes, Chinese families hang red scrolls with good luck wishes printed on them. Chinese children receive coins and small red packets. On the last day of Chinese New Year, all of China glows with the light from lanterns. A Chinese temple in California is decorated for the New Year. Welcoming a New Year. How do you celebrate? Many people go out to see a show, listen to a concert, or eat at a restaurant on New Year's Eve. Some families rent movies and watch them until late at night. Most people try to stay up until midnight. Does your family have a favorite movie to watch together on New Year's Eve? Times Square is the scene for the world's largest New Year's Eve party. For m almost 100 years, people have gathered in Times Square in New York City on New Year's Eve. The crowd watches a large glittering ball drop down a pole as they count down to midnight. Almost two tons of confetti and balloons fly through the air and fireworks explode when the new year arrives. Even though it is not midnight at the same time all over the world, about 300 million people watch the celebration on television. The holiday is a time to be serious, too. People often make New Year's resolutions. These are promises to yourself that you try to keep for the new year. Someone might make a resolution to clean their room, make a new friend, or try to do better in school. On New Year's Day, families often relax. Most people have the day off from work and school, so they use the time to have a nice meal or visit with... <gasps> During Chinese New Year, this Malaysian-American family enjoys roast duck. As I was reading, uh, they may have a nice meal or visit with family and friends. People may watch the Tournament of Roses Parade on television or tune in to the Rose Bowl football game, which has been played since 1916. A surfer rides a wave of flowers in the Rose Parade. The Rose Bowl football game is played in Pasadena, California. In many parts of the world, church bells and fireworks ring in the new. People celebrate the coming of a new year in many different ways all over the world. New Year's Day is a time for everyone to say goodbye to the old year and welcome all of the exciting things the new year will bring. The year 2000. The whole world welcomed the arrival of the year 2000 with parties, light shows, and concerts. People of New Zealand were the first to see the new year at midnight on December 31, 1999. Every hour as midnight hit a other parts of the globe, each place had its own way of celebrating. The Eiffel Tower in Paris and St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow's Red Square burst in bright displays of fireworks. What happened in your town or city? The Red Square glows just after midnight. People in New Zealand welcome the new year with song. Fireworks light up the Eiffel Tower. This woman counts down the final seconds to the new year. To find out more, there's all sorts of books, organizations, online sites. Important words. Colony. Confetti. Culture. Declare. Flask. Resolution. Scroll. Symbol. And tradition. Meet the author. And thanks to Open Library for allowing me to check out this book, New Year's Day. Happy New Year!